really beautiful question because it's everyone's question, right? Everyone's questions, a question. We all ask this question. How on earth could I keep my heart open despite all the hurtful heart experiences, the disappointments, the betrayals, the, the, the shocks, And despite my fear of new heart wounds, because even if I say, okay, I let go of my past wounds, but then if I open my heart, why would I trust again? After all this, why wouldn't, wouldn't it be natural to just be bitter, cynical, to close my heart, to say, okay, enough, enough. Just go away. I'm not, try I'm not trying again. This is all just too painful. Isn't that everyone's questions? It's everyone's question. We all ask it because when we... And the problem is that we are also answering it. Because, because the, we are answering it. We're, we're, despite our best efforts, we answer it. Actually, I can't. <laughs> This is how we erect a wall around the heart. You see, we begin to, to, to create a, this kind of, of defensive wall and we try to, to make our heart as small as possible. We, the problem with the heart, you see, that it cannot be closed. It's not, it's not something that you can close. You can only cover. You can only hide away because it's always open. That's the trick. We know it. We know that our heart is always open and, that, and we hate it. You see? It's always innocent, it's always tender, it's always glowing. And that's the problem. We can't close it, so we, so we are hiding it away. Even from ourselves and we try to make it, uh, to imagine that it is as small as possible, that it is, it is covered, becomes covered with suspicion. It, uh, even those around us, it, is, it suspects, it examines with suspicion, making sure that, uh, that, uh, that everything is, that we are in a safe environment co consistently, and so on and so on. This is, natural and understandable and the answer is not that that you are not going to if you're going to open your heart that you will not have hurtful heart experiences and and but the answer is is very different the answer is that at a certain point you realize that you like yourself only when you are in contact with your heart and only when you leave your heart open. This, that this, you realize that this is the only situations in which you love yourself, in which you love being, in which you feel real, in which you feel alive. And this, is, this has nothing to do with anyone. It's not because people are beginning suddenly transforming into reliable creatures. We ourselves are not reliable creatures, uh, let's be honest. So it's not that we haven't disappointed others, right? Hmm? Let's be honest. So it's impossible, it's almost impossible to live unless you are such a you have adjusted yourself, you have shaped yourself to satisfy everyone's needs to in such a cruel way that you already have no personality. But if you are even starting to breathe <laughs> and somehow be yourself, you are going to hurt others. I promise you. So it has nothing to do with others. It's just that, for instance, when we are experiencing loving kindness every night, and you are, for instance, you are 
bringing up a person that, that, that is really hard to, to, to love. And, and then you love them. And then you realize that you are suddenly in, the, in light, in the light, you see? Suddenly you, you belong to the light. Suddenly you are the most beautiful thing in the world. You are heavenly. The most painful thing in the world is to be detached from our heart. So then at a certain point the pain is unbearable and the, and the glimpses into, into this light, into this lovable part of yourself, they, they, they just overpower your fear. <laughs> 